Hello, I'm Will Sampson. We're in the shop today to try out the saw gear from Tiger Stop. This is an automated measuring system, stop system, that works with your miter saw to give you precise stops quickly and easily. Um, what this does in my saw, it replaces a system like this that I used, which is a great system, very simple and straightforward, but look at how much time it takes. I have to unscrew this stop, slide it to whatever position it is that I need, tighten it down, make my cut, move it to the next position, get it to the right place, make my cut. Now if I have to go back and repeat an earlier measurement, and then I'm likely to get it pretty close, but it's still, there's a little bit of human error in there. The way this system works, it's all automatic and precisely controlled. We just type in a measurement. If I want 12 inches, and there it goes. 24 inches, there it goes. 36 inches, there it goes. Back to 12. very fast and very precise. It works in English or metric. You can type in fractions or you can type in digital measurements. In fact, let's, let's do that to show you how pre precise that it is. Um, let's say uh, uh, I want to cut uh, something that's uh, 11 and an eighth inch. Okay, so I'm going to type in 11.125 and there's my position. Let's make that cut. So there's that piece right there. Now let's put it out to 36 just to make sure it's moved to somewhere completely different. And now Let's type it in with a fraction. Do that 11 inches, 1 slash 8 for an eighth. Move it in. Here's my piece. Cut that off. And here are my two pieces. And they line up pretty darn good. That's exactly right. I don't think I could equate that kind of precision that fast with my old stop system. But there's more that you can do with this too. Let's zoom in on the controls and I'll show you some of the features. Okay. In addition to running it metric in English, you can uh, also, I mean, this is a, a great feature. How many times have you put in a measurement and you made your cut and then because of some error in reading the tape or whatever, it was just off just a little bit? Well, this feature allows you to nudge it. You can move it just a little bit each time and it just moves it I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's just moving it a little bit each time so that you can make those, those adjustment cuts. Then uh, another feature that's very interesting, if you were going to do uh, molding that, say, is it like a door surround or something where it would be more convenient to measure your miters from the inside instead of the outside, um, as the normal stops were, you can put in right up here, you can put in your width of your molding and then using these buttons it will automatically calculate based on your miters and it'll work on 45 degrees or any other miter that you type in uh, what your cuts are very precisely. If you're doing production work this is a very nice feature the list feature you can type in uh, up to 10 pre-program cut lists with 10 parts each in those cut lists. So 
there's a lot that you can do with this that can help you boost your productivity in the shop. Now, granted, you know, a system like this costs a lot more than a system like this. But for all of the productivity and precision advantages that you get, um, I think that it would more than, than pay itself off very quickly. It's definitely something worth checking out. Um, I found it was easy to install. Uh, as I said, this is a, a stationary installation, but they also sell a kit so that it easily will mount to a job site saw. Uh, and uh, you could take it right to the job site for doing trim molding work, that sort of thing. Uh, I could see it really uh, excellent for doing any kind of uh, molding, uh, face frame work, mitered face frames, uh, door production. There's all sorts of things that you could use this for. Anything that you cut on your chop saw, why not just type in the measurement and go. Pretty slick. You can learn more about the saw gear by going to uh, sawgear.com. Uh, you can learn more about other products that we reviewed and see more videos at cabinetmakerfdm.com. And that's what we've got for today. Thanks for watching.